Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So in three days time, this portfolio will be four years old. I have started this portfolio in 2020. So 20th of May, 2020, that's when I started. And since then, I have maxed my ISR account, which basically allows me to have 20,000 pounds, invest 20,000 pounds tax-free every single year. So for those four years, I've managed to invest 20,000 pounds each year since i've started and inshallah this year that's the aim again to continue doing what i've been doing um i've been a bit skeptical about maybe trying to diversify away from this portfolio maybe the you know adding more money to the other portfolio if you're interested to see the family portfolio then join us in the patreon account where you get access to a lot of things as well as the dividend um other basically uh for the family portfolio inshallah i do share my basically the entire holdings the average prices or all of that in there there's not a lot in there i think it's about nine thousand so pounds i think there's about seven or eight different companies i think more than that um but yeah so join us there if you basically would like to see that and you can see all the buys and sells and so on so four years in a row i've maxed this account and since then i've actually made 11 over eleven thousand pounds in gains so that's realized gains so that's money that i've taken i've not taken away from the account because i would just like to reinvest it but eleven thousand pounds are made and as you can see right now i'm up about thirteen thousand seven hundred and so on so about 14 15 percent so alhamdulillah it's been really good it's been a good journey and what i would like to do and what i have been doing since i've started is be be honest and transparent You've seen me lose money with VM corporations. You've seen me lose money with 3M and other companies that I've sold over the last few years. And what I want to do today is share with you guys, starting with six companies that are doing absolutely amazing in my portfolio. And the next couple of videos, I'm also going to do the opposite. So the ones that are doing well, I'm going to share that with you guys, how much I've made and did it, what I'm going to do as well in terms of the plan moving forward. Am I going to sell them? Am I going to hold on to them? Am I going to trim it? You've seen me trim it as well a few times here and there. Okay, that's where the profit, you know, the gains has come from. So I'm going to share with you guys all of that. And then, inshallah, the next video, I will share with you guys all the ones that are not doing well and what my plan are for the future inshallah but before we do that i just want to show you where we are because you know the the portfolio is doing well because overall market is doing well and as you can see here a year to date if we look at the dow jones for example we're up about six percent the s p 500 is about over 11 percent the FTSE 100 which is very very good for the FTSE, is nine percent up that's probably the amount of it's been up for the last god knows how many years this up that much this year which is really good to see the nasdaq company basically as always as well is up about 13 percent so the all the indices are doing really well for the one year just to give you the full picture as you can see this is 19 percent the dow jones and um, 27 percent for the s p 500 nine percent for the FTSE, and the nasdaq is about 33 percent so in the long run what we tend to do is we hold on to companies because we know the s p 500 all these indices will go up so in the space of 10 15 years you know these basically th um, indices will go up which means also the stocks that we own will go up so if you had the s p 500 i know it's not sharia compliant you'll be up in the last five years about 85 percent which is really decent return if you had the nasdaq for example the composite that 100 companies you'll be up over 100 percent right now so this is the basically the mindset I have when it comes to investing for the long run. Just invest it and leave it. And of course, make sure you're buying high quality businesses in the first place. So let's get started. I want to share with you guys today six different companies. I'm going to start with the one that has the least amount of money. So we basically we're checking how much pounds that I've made so far. But remember, this can go to zero in the next couple of months because it's the unrealized gains. But I'm going to share that with you. The ones that are doing really well, starting from number six and then all go down all the way to number one, which will be the one that is basically has the highest, if you like. And so far, just to kind of give you an average, basically total return in the S&P 500 in the last five years is 85 percent. Total return in the last 10 years is 174%. So when you see some of these returns, I want you to bear in mind that as well. Okay, let's get started with the first one, and that is Visa. Visa right now is trading $270 and $80 per share, almost 80% up for the last basically five years. Total return, okay? Total return in the last 10 years, 455%, which is absolutely amazing. So 10 years in comparison to S&P 500 is actually double. 
more than double and my return since they basically I started investing in this business is 30 percent so i'm up 30 percent right now which works up to be about over hundred thousand pounds it's fairly valued according to morningstar for me is a hold for now because i'm up quite a bit and there are other businesses that are slightly down that i would like to build more inshallah like companies like for example mastercard and so on growth estimate next year is basically expecting about 12 percent, which is really nice just to kind of have a sh to show you majority of the companies that we're going to talk about today are dividend growth companies because they have excellent dividend um safety the yield is very low for this one i don't really care that doesn't matter to me a lot because this is what's important to me okay so the next five years if they can increase that dividend for 16 percent, which is good the next 10 years about 18 percent. that's what i'm looking for and that's how much you will get if you own this stock right now in terms of earnings expectations growth estimate for the next basically years as you can see is double digits every single year revenue is double digits so, so there's nothing to worry about when it comes to this business now in terms of ratings um from yeah seeking alpha analysts for example different types of analysts they expect basically the strong buy 21 percent nine buys eight holds and so on their price is about over just 300 dollars per share right so that's the first one next one is Cummins. you probably did not think you will see this company on this list but there you have it 283 dollars per share right now total return in the last 10 years we're looking over over 100 percent and total return in the last um five years sorry it was over 100 percent last 10 years 155 percent which is absolutely amazing so closer to the s p 500 basically if you like okay and my return so far 37 percent. that's over thousand pounds currently expensive and i'm going to hold on to it seven percent in terms of growth estimate for the next five years and this is another dividend growth company 98 percent safety 2.3 percent in terms of dividend yield which is quite nice and the rep basically in terms of payout ratio is quite low so that means they can increase that dividend for as many as they want in the next few years in terms of the latest was seven percent eight percent in the last five years 20 years basically but we're looking at about 17 percent which is nice and they have been increasing that dividend for 18 years in a row you get six dollars and 72 cents per share um in my opinion i think this is one of the companies that um i've had it for quite some time and i'm going to hold on to it and i'll show you exactly the reason so this year is a flat so i'm hoping it might come back down so i can actually buy more of this company but then they're expecting double digit growth in terms of earning side of things year over year and then next basically when it comes to revenue side of it it's almost the same as well year over year so this next year we're going to about minus three percent and then after that five percent six percent which is basically what i expected from this business now the next one we're looking at today is asml one of my favorite companies out there i was i wish i didn't trim it but to be honest with you it was the right time to do it so i'm just gonna say you know what i trimmed it i think i sold it two shares or whatever it was um took some profit off the table reinvested in other companies that have done well so i don't regret it but uh, it's one of those great companies out there that I should be holding on to for a very long time 928 dollars per share right now five year return is 384 percent that's includes price as well as dividends for the last 10 years 1115 percent up right now i'm up 45 percent and i'll show you by the way i'll go to the portfolio and i'll show you all of these things 44 percent and 1151 is at the time of um putting this together that's how much i was up fairly value right now but for me is definitely a hold 22 percent um, in terms of the growth estimate for the next five years according to these analysts by the way just good to show you very quickly um when it comes to Cummins, for example it there's a lot more holes in there and they're expecting about 44 percent upside from where we are right now so as you can see here when it comes to asml huge market cap 82 percent very safe right now less than basically one percent payout ratio is very very low in terms of the latest increase was about six percent 24 percent last five years 10 years is about 26 percent 14 years of increase in it so over six dollars is what you will get for this company and if we look at asml when it comes to earnings for example what you will see is this year's get expecting a flat the next year 54 percent almost to 55 percent for the next year then 15 percent for 22 percent and so on and then this more or less the same so revenue and year over year will be expected to grow up way faster for in 2025 but right now this year is a bit of a flat which is fine because it might come back down to a price that we want okay now as you can see 24 strong buys four buys 10 holds 
and as you can see here 14 percent upside from where we're currently out so that's the third company the fourth one that we're looking at basically today from the list or the third is Merck. Merck, you wouldn't think this pharmaceutical company will be so, will be on this list, but it's hundred and thirty dollars per share right now. The five year average, basically the total return, sorry, is over one hundred percent, and total return the last ten years two hundred and twenty two percent, which is absolutely huge. Okay, my return so far eighty one percent, which is absolutely amazing. Alhamdulillah, and one thousand two hundred and fifty six pounds is basically how much I'm up this year. Fairly valued. To be fair, I want to start buying more of this company. I have not bought one single share of this business for a very long time. So any dip that from now on, I want to start adding to it just a little bit. They're expecting in the earnings to grow about 62%. Now, this is not 62% organic growth. They have done a lot of buying, other basically acquiring other businesses. Last year's earnings basically went um, dipped a little bit. There's quite a few things. If you want interested in this business, please look at the 10K. That will give you a lot more information because there have been quite a few things that they actually paid for can be so for that reason is will bounce back some um, about 62 percent but yeah one great company and with regards to to um dividend side of things so as you can see market cap is a, a huge company 99 percent 2.3 percent in terms of dividend yield which is quite nice the payout ratio is not right now it's crazy because it needs to readjust after what, what i've just said five percent latest increase nine percent and then four percent in the last 20 years 12 years of increasing it three dollars or so what you is what you will get in terms of earnings side of things um let's go to the earnings first okay so this year 472 percent again that adjustments needs to take place and then after that double digits more or less every single year same goes about six percent seven percent for the in terms of revenue side of things and when we look at the ratings as we you can see here okay 18 strong buys eight buys three holds on one sell now for me is definitely i'm going to add to it inshallah in the next few weeks our months inshallah if there is a dip in the market next one is qualcomm 194 dollars per share one of the really my favorite companies i've talked about this company so long and i've been saying this is undervalued undervalued and right now is done absolutely amazing it was one of my best performing stocks right now so in the last of the five years 141 um, percent up 10 years Two, over 200 percent my returns all right right now 56 percent two thousand two hundred and twenty two dollars per share is where or basically where i was when i started doing this research 35 percent earn premium right now i definitely agree with that so it's quite expensive right now i wouldn't be touching it they're expecting the earnings to grow about 11 percent and with regards to dividends as you can see here 80 percent safe 1.75 percent in terms of dividend yield um, payout ratio very low so they can increase that six percent latest five percent in the last five years 20 percent in the last 20 years 20 years of increasing it three dollars and 40 cents is what you will get in terms of basically um expectations moving forward for this company as you can see 18 percent um sorry 16 people are saying it's a strong buy six buys 12 holes one sale and as you can see up basically about less than four percent basically downside about four percent which is not huge in terms of earnings moving forward 17 percent 13 percent eight percent so more or less double digits and in terms of revenue about seven percent ten percent so nothing huge to shout about nothing really to worry about moving forward and the final company we're going to talk about today is broadcom broadcom is one of those companies that i genuinely bought more of when i was talking about this company when it was 200 300 per share and right now is 1400 dollars per share i was looking at this company once 300 if you look at some of my old videos okay you will see that we were talking about it it's, it's not because i knew what the company will do in the future but it was i i felt it was undervalued based on the research that we had at that time but look at it 418 percent up in the last five years 2518 percent up in the last 10 years and my return so far is over 200 percent 3300 is basically my profit right now if i was to sell this now i already sold some shares of this company i think it was sold three or two shares and i took i think it was about over thousand pounds off the table at that point of profit that is and i'm still got about over three thousand now in terms of uh, basically uh, valuation it seems very expensive right now i will definitely hold it and 14 percent i expected to grow about 14 percent moving forward 
and in terms of dividend side of things you can see 67 percent safety 1.5 when i was buying this company it was about three over three percent dividend yield and look at it right now um because the price has gone up so much dividend yield went back um so one one and a half in terms of payout pay ratio not huge okay 46 percent 14 percent in terms of latest increase 19 percent in the last five years 36 percent in the last 10 years which is absolutely huge 13 years of increase in it $21 is what you will get for every share of this company that you own. And with regards to earnings expectations, 11%, almost 12%, 22%, 13% in the next few years, which is absolutely amazing. So double digits every single year, 40% in terms of revenue. This is probably the fact that maybe because of um, VMware and so on, that's potentially what it is. But then again, it's almost a double digits after that every single year. This is very high quality business and I really like it. Now, in terms of um, Wall Street expectations, 23 strong buys, seven buys, five holds, one sell okay and as you can see here they're expecting about eight percent upside from where we are 1500 a lot of the analysts out there are saying it's about 1500 basically where they think it should be i'll be honest with you i'm up a lot so for that reason i'm not going to touch it for quite some time so just to be honest and transparent with you guys you can see asml i'm up about over 44 percent or 1100 the next one broke on 3640 something and look since i actually did this research was was i am um, two days ago okay look at it, it's gone up so much so anyway it doesn't matter but as you can see here okay almost one um 3641 pounds the next one that we've talked about today is merc again 1236 pounds or 80 percent up from um qualcomm is the next one 2000 almost 200 pounds and finally i think that's it yeah and visa there you go as well 30 percent up about just over a thousand pounds so there you have it that's the five six companies i wanted to share with you guys today and the reason i want to do this kind of thing is just to kind of give you the just buy high quality business and hold them for the long run okay and i'm not saying go away buy these companies you have to do your own research and so on but please just focus on the long-term plan and don't just worry about what's happening right now as you can see that's over ten thousand pounds basically in gains if i was to sell right now this just these basically six companies i'll make about basically ten thousand pounds now the opposite can happen you could be down as well so you stay tuned for that video i'm going to share with you guys five companies that are really not doing well at all and I'm what I'm basically what I would like to do moving forward with those stocks as well, inshallah. If you're enjoying this type of content, please, please join us on the Patreon account. It costs you 15p, p per day, and you get all the buys and sells that I'm making regularly. You can actually talk to a lot of brothers and sisters who are like minded to doing the same thing, inshallah. And at the same time, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your family and friends. Have a wonderful day. Assalamu alaikum.